Yeah, and like I said, hoodies. I love hoodies. I wish yeah, this that was, was a little, little tight, bigger. but you could give it to one of the boys. Maybe that'll be an incentive for losing weight. <laughs> It is the new year after yeah, that. Honestly, I, I, I honestly just probably need two new pairs of khakis. Yeah. Should we... that, that one can go. That's the you one. I just don't care about it. Okay. Just, I just don't like that, okay. that one that much. Hey, what are those jeans? Are these a good pair of jeans, maybe? No. no. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a special guest today, my husband, Craig. And today we're going to be tackling his closet. He is reluctantly involved in the process. Um, but here we are in front of our shared closet. If you remember from a previous video, I did a capsule wardrobe of my own clothing and got it down to 50 pieces for the whole year. He is not going to be doing that. He is just going to be going through and deciding which items that he no longer needs or wants to keep. And so this is my portion of the closet and we'll shift it over. And this is his portion of the closet over here. So we're going to start by laying everything out on the bed and um, decluttering. So let's get started. drawer full of t-shirts and shorts for sports things so we'll, put, we'll stack that up here too. I think I have more clothes than you do. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. You didn't see my path. How do you feel about all that stuff? I could care less to be honest with you. I'm not a big clothes guy so. So when I said he's reluctant what I meant was he just said that I should basically do all of this for him and he would just wear whatever I chose for him to keep. However, I don't know what he feels comfortable in and so he is agreeing now to go through the process and I will then put everything back into the place that it will go. So let's just so start going through. The stuff so if you want to keep it, maybe put it on there. Okay. I definitely love those kind of shirts, so like these ones, Okay. I like. Yeah, these are... These are nice shorts, but I got paint on them and... Right, and I mean, it's worth replacing if you actually need another pair of shorts. I like these ones, but you don't like them because they're so baggy. They but are, but if you like them... I do like them. Okay, I'm keeping them. It's your wardrobe. Really? You like these shorts? I mean, well, that's fine. If you don't like them, that's fine. But do you like them? If you I don't like, like them. me, okay, then keep them. But no, it's you. It's what's comfortable for you. But do you like? Okay, check oh, hey, these, hey, why don't I wear these? These are nice, aren't they? Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, those are nice. Okay, we'll keep them. I didn't even know I had them. I know exactly. They, they need to be stuck. ironed. I think they need to be ironed. Or 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 throw them in the dryer so I don't have to iron them. That's what we're gonna do. wearing it. it's my it's the Jones Lumber Corporation shirt and this is my wood splitting shirt. It's literally shirt. literally see-through. It is, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> but it's he says it's so comfortable and he, he will he will keep it until it no longer hopefully I can talk talk my boys into keeping it for a little bit longer than yeah. I have you gotta to keep, keep the special thing yeah, like that. Because honestly once we put all those shirts in this bin I never got a shirt out of well, here. Well, that's right. I feel like we should not even have the bins, except right. for pants. But I do like having a couple of 
really, really everyday shirts for right. like, totally getting drained. So. I think I'd have a hard time getting rid of Oh, I know. Rock. Through. Okay, if you watched my last video when I was talking about the quilt, this is where this is where my husband was doing his co-op in Illinois um, while I was making that quilt. So you have to link back to that video to see what I'm talking about. But he's got memories of that time, and I got memories of that time. So we're gonna keep this. as painful as you thought it was going to be? Yes. <laughs> Alright, honesty. We've got lots of um, hangers over here that are now unused because we've got a pile of donate or sell right here. We've got a pile of keeps which I will then fold and put away in a decent manner. And then we have a few items that we still need to look at in terms of maybes. Um, whether we save them and then think about if, we, if you wear them or not. Got it down to these hanging items. So pretty good, pretty good uh, chopping of things, I'd say. At this point, Craig took a coffee break and I held up my side of the bargain by putting everything away. These Hangers are all left over from both of our closet declutters. We had over 60 hangers that were unused at this point. I tried my hand at folding using the KonMari method, um, his shirts, to get them fitting in the drawer better. And I have to say that even though it took me maybe a little longer to fold them, I do think it might be a good system to use, especially for t-shirts. I was able to get them all nicely folded and in the drawer. I also folded his undershirts and we put his out outdoor wear, like his wood cutting shirt he talked about in that drawer. This is my drawer and then in the lower drawer is all of the shirts, shorts and then workout pants. And in the closet, everything is hung up neatly. I put the short sleeve shirts on the left hand side of the closet. They'll sort of be pushed back beyond the door since they're out of season. And the long sleeve items were left on the right side so that they were more accessible. I decided to hang up his hoodie sweatshirts since he says he loves them and wants them accessible. I also hung up his jeans on these specialty hooks. And we were able to, through both of our decluttering processes, eliminate the bins on the floor. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this channel or visiting my website, arrowhillcottage.com, for more tips on creating a simple home and living an intentionally simple life. Okay, that was doing video. It is? <laughs> yes.